Happy Saturday! Welcome back to my channel. I wasn't here last week and I apologize for that. I actually spent last week at Disney World and I was with my mom and my sister and my nephew who I haven't seen in far too long and I just wanted to enjoy my time with them. I posted it actively on Instagram every day, multiple times on TikTok, so YouTube just didn't happen last week, but I'm happy to be back and I'm excited for this video today. I have all of my mouse ears surrounding me right now and I'm gonna share them all with you. I'm gonna share how I use these ears to style outfits and pictures in the parks, um, what I would wear with these ears, these ears make me think of, special memories, maybe do's or don'ts, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with, I should have done more planning. I'm gonna start with these ears. They're not mouse ears, I know, but they're ears. Super cute, and I did get them at Disney World. Super cute when you look at it like this. Adorable, love it. Unfortunately, they are crazy on me. I don't know if it's the size of my forehead, the shape of my face, that I have too much hair, my bangs. I don't know what it is, but I have never liked a single photo that I took in these, so you probably will never see me wear these in a park picture. They're so cute though, and I can't say I don't recommend them. I just, forewarning, if you think you have a big forehead or whatever the problem is, these might not look cute, which seems impossible because they're so cute, but they, they just don't look good on me. And definitely would wear them to Galaxy's Edge if they look good on me. So, if they look good on you, I would love to see pictures of you in them. <laughs> Okay, moving on to ears that I do love to wear, which are almost all of the ones I'm surrounded by. I'm gonna start with the brand that I am a rep for, and that is Mouse Gold Shop. These are the two ears that I have from them right now. I have a third pair coming for March, and I cannot wait to get them. I don't know what they look like, but I know they're gonna be amazing. So, this is the Sherpa pair, and uh, they're beautiful. I actually haven't gotten to wear these in the parks yet because I just, they remind me of winter and I got these late January, I think. It was warm every time I went to the parks after I bought these, so I just, I didn't get to wear them. I don't know how to style them and make them look summery or springy, so they're going to be on hold for me probably, but when the time comes, they're going to be amazing with a sweater, jeans, any type of cozy look. I think it'd be so cute to do a Duffy and Friends Disney bound type look with this pair of ears and they're precious, comfortable, soft. I honestly want these in like massive giant size so I could have them as a pillow because that's how soft they are. <laughs> The other pair that I have from Mouse Goals is this velvet pair and this pair I have worn so many times for the short time frame that I've had these. These are the ears that I got in February, so I have only had them for a month. And I wore them with two outfits that I planned for pictures and just for special days. So that's how much I love these ears. I wore them on Valentine's Day to Epcot. And I have a blue skirt on. I'll, sh I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I don't think any of the other ears that I own would have brought that outfit together the way these ears do. And that's what I found about these ears is that they just, like, they pull an outfit together. I don't know what it is. I wore a lime green slash yellow silky baby doll style dress to our, my reservation at Be Our Guest with my family and I took some really cute castle pictures. It felt sort of like Drizella meets Anastasia with the colors, but like I felt like the prettiest ugly stepsister ever. So, and I just, these ears can do it all. They, they really can do it all. Highly, highly recommend Mouse Goals and if you are interested, they have so many different colors and styles and you can use my code MEG15 to get 15% off. These are just sitting in front of me and I, I can't avoid them any longer because my Loki stands. What do you think? So cute. I got these on Etsy. They kind of go in and out of stock. I got these specifically for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I was Loki and my best friend was Thor and we had so much fun and it was so cute and I thought it was a unique little costuming thing and 
I just knew I needed Loki ears and I I loved these. I can't remember the shop name, but I'll put it up here if I can find it still and I'll link it in the description box so you can find them. I wanted to wear them to Disneyland, but it's closed still, so we'll see. I hope I can find a way to bring these back maybe for next Halloween. Ugh. Let's do something fun. I'm gonna bring out my holiday ears. So these are my holiday ears <laughs> and let me just start the Valentine's Day one because this is the pair I wore most recently. These were new this year and oh my lord, I love these so much. I wore these a few different times for Valentine's Day. I styled a couple of different Valentine's Day looks. I shot a picture for Park Princess Co. in their Duffy and Shelly collection that oh, loved. I wore these to the parks also on Valentine's Day for the second half of the day when we switched and went to Hollywood Studios. I had a super cute um, sweatshirt crew neck that had Star Wars couples on it. I'll show you the picture. And they, that's usually how I style holiday ears. That's how I style all my holiday ears. I wear holiday outfits because what's the fun of trying to be subtle about a holiday? <laughs> so Valentine's Day ears. Christmas ears. I wore this pair with a cute little polka dot dress to do a sort of mini mouse Christmas bound. And these are so cute. Love the little candy. And these are precious. I only got to wear them one time, but I wore tan little like overall jumper with a white turtleneck underneath. I felt like such a cute little gingerbread girl and yeah. And Halloween. Oh gosh, these memories are awesome. My family and I all matched on Halloween. We wore black and we got um, orange pumpkin appliques off of Etsy. I'll link it below. I just ironed that applique onto my nephew's shirt, my mom and sister's blouses, and I had like a black overall dress I got from Forever 21 that I ironed it onto. I'll show you pictures of that as well because we were so cute and just like a matching family. And I love Halloween at Disney World. It's probably my favorite, so I love that they are leather and that there's no bow because I don't know what it is, but I just love ears that do not have a bow. Um, so cute. And maybe it's because it's more adult or just like easier for me to style and be like less girly with it. I don't know. When I see something like this with like a big bow, I feel like I have to be really girly with it. Whereas with these, I can be a little more fun and funky. So love, love, love my holiday ears. Oh. And for the July ears, I haven't worn these in a long, long time. I haven't been to Disney for the 4th of July in a very, very, very long time. Like 2014, I think. But, classic red, white, and blue outfit. It's just to be festive. That's what I love about holiday ears is that they just help you to be super festive and cute. And I got all of these at the Disney parks. Okay, so what I've got in the left are more ears that I got in the parks. I don't know what it is, but I really, really love the ears that you buy in the parks. I just can't resist them. So especially within this past year, they've really upped their game. But let me show you, I love this pair. This is so classic Minnie Mouse and Minnie is my girl. So I, I love her. I would usually probably wear this if I was also wearing polka dots in my outfit. These ears are kind of new to me, so I haven't worn them too often, but when I have a polka dot outfit, I will usually throw these on to match. Or if I want to, I'll throw these on because I feel like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> these are actually the first pair of ears that I ever owned and I still have them. And that's what I love about park ears is that they hold up for so long, though they do hurt your ears a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. So these, <laughs> And these I will probably use interchangeably. These I'd throw on with a more casual type outfit and these I would throw on with more fancy outfit. But usually when I'm dressed like Minnie Mouse, I will wear one of these pairs of ears. That doesn't necessarily include this pair because these are unique. These are, these were my favorite for the longest, longest time because these are precious. This is my favorite like decade of Minnie Mouse was this decade. These colors, the little flower hat. Love her, love her, love her. But I haven't worn these in a while. 
I don't know why I think I need to bring them back because they're so cute and they were so special to me at one time I think maybe I just overdid it. I wore these all the time the year that I bought them I've had these since college. They sell a pair similar to this now, but I don't think this pair specifically is still being sold but I would usually wear these if I have ears with like lots of color on them, I'll just pull a color. So usually I would wear these with something yellow or something red or something white. And I always felt so cute in them. I really recommend these ears because these are just like, these ears are just like happy vibe ears, you know? So cute. <laughs> these ears are my other two, my last two that are super sparkly and girly and fun. I do not wear either pair of these that often. I usually give these to my mom on trips and actually same with this pair. My mom usually wears these. I think it's just because I'm not a super sparkly girl. I don't love wearing sparkles um, unless it's like New Year's Eve. I will not be found in a super sparkly outfit. It's just not me. So these don't make it that often. I used to wear these all the time in high school. There are so many pictures of me wearing these in high school. I do not know if I have any pictures of me wearing these recently. That's so sad. Because they're great ears. They're silver. They match everything. But like I said, I'm just not super sparkly anymore. But this pink pair I have wore a few times because sometimes this color it just looks amazing with an outfit. Like this millennial pink is just so pretty. And I know they look amazing on so many different people. And... If your favorite color is pink, you just can't pass these up. These are ears that I'm probably never going to wear again. But I wanted to show them because they are very, very special to me. And if you or anyone you know are getting married soon, these are a perfect, perfect gift or accessory. Especially if someone's doing a Disney honeymoon or a Disney themed shower. So both of these were wedding gifts for me. We actually have the matching groom pair for this. But I have no idea where it is. So I can't show you, but I, I'll put pictures in, trust me. We have tons of honeymoon pictures in these, and I would have worn these more if they were not a hat. Because I actually really love this design. But our honeymoon was in June, so it was really, really hot. And these just kind of trap heat on your head, but I usually just wear them not attached. <laughs> they do have a string. I do not wear the strap. It just does not work on me. But yeah, beautiful. It has a veil. So special to me because these were a pair that I did wear on my honeymoon to match my husband. This pair was also a gift in my bridal shower. And I put these on immediately and wore them for the entirety of my bridal shower after I opened them. So I love these. I wore these a ton, a ton on our honeymoon. But like I said, these are probably never going to be worn again by me. But I could never get rid of them because they were from my wedding time. That was a special time in life. And yeah, maybe I'll give them to my daughter one day or daughter-in-law if we even have kids. I'm going to hold on to them forever otherwise. <laughs> Highly recommend if you or anyone you know are getting married. It's just really special. Last pair that I will also probably not ever wear in the parks are these <laughs> and it's just this is classic tall classic mickey hat but the special thing about this specific hat is that it's my graduation hat from my college program and i got it embroidered so this is another one that i'm going to have forever just because it means a lot to me i just i don't know why it just it just means a lot to have these <laughs> okay now i have three left and two of them are my favorite. One are a pair that you will probably never see me in again. This is also one of the first pair of ears that I ever got at Animal Kingdom. They do not sell these anymore. It's a pink leopard print. These are not something I would ever buy now because, I don't know, I've always hated the pink and black combo, which I know is so random, but I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. So I would never wear these again. Unfortunately, I'm hoping that I can trade these because on the same trip when I was in high school, my sister and my mom got the two other prints that they had. I think one was a giraffe and one was like a classic cheetah and 
you don't know how badly I want to steal the giraffe ears. I don't have them with me because they're not mine, but I will show you a picture of me wearing the giraffe ears. I was living my best life that day. I really thought I was going to get to keep those, but I didn't. <laughs> Last but not least are my two most favorite, most worn, I will have forever, will replace if they actually did replace. I lost one of these in the parks and I repurchased them because I couldn't live without them. So this pair, classic, cannot go wrong. Leather, no bow, like I was mentioning earlier. These look good with everything and you can be a little bit more mature, a little bit more edgy with your fashion. There's not an outfit that these don't look good with, so... It's hard to say what I would exactly style these for. I will show some of my favorite outfits that I've worn with these, but like even what I'm wearing today, this is the pair of ears that I would wear if I decided to go to Hollywood Studios and wear this Tower of Terror t-shirt. I would wear these ears because these ears match everything and this is like a subtle neutral shirt and these ears just match the vibe. And that's what I love about these ears. These are the ears that I wear the most because they look good with everything. Okay, I'm down to my very last pair. And this is my favorite pair of ears that I own. But they don't look good with everything. But they're the hand ears. And these ears are either loved or hated. There's no in between. I love these ears. I don't know why, but I think they look the cutest on me out of all of my ears. Tell me if I'm wrong but I just love them. These are always the ears that I wear when I'm comfortably dressed, if that makes sense. My cozier, less like fashion forward outfits, like ones that are t-shirt or sweatshirt based, these ears just make them look so much cuter. I'm missing a pair of ears now that I think about it. That's all I can really say about these ears, that there's just something mysterious that happens with these. I don't know what it is. They work so much magic. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. And these are my favorite pair of ears, but like, kind of like my Loki pair, it's just fun to have ears that resemble your favorite character, even if they're not something I'm gonna wear a lot. And that's what these ears are for me. So, I'm so excited. I did an Ahsoka Bound this past weekend in Galaxy's Edge. And these are absolutely beautiful. But I got these on Etsy from, I do not even know how to say it, but I'll do my best. I'm sorry if I'm botching this. Sakic underscore Jade is the Etsy shop name and the Instagram. They're like a leather material. And I just love that because it just feels right. Sequins wouldn't feel right for Ahsoka. Like a soft wouldn't feel right for Ahsoka. This leather feels right for Ahsoka. And they're so perfect. This is a true Star Wars fan. Someone who's super kind and talented. And if you want Ahsoka Tano ears, this is the pair I recommend. Like 10 out of 10, 100%. <sighs> I love them and they've really brought me a lot of joy. Ooh, getting hot so yeah that's that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing my ear collection and some of my favorite outfits and pictures and the way that I style them I hope you saw a new pair of ears that you would absolutely love to have they're all linked below if they can be purchased online so that's all for today I hope you have a fabulous weekend and upcoming week I will be back next week with a new video and Thank you so much once again for being here. I am still working my way around YouTube and it means a lot, a lot, a lot that you have invested any time at all to check in on this video. So thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.